G'day, I'm Kel Langfield, Senior Land Services Officer with Local Land Services. I'm here today to talk about one of the projects we're running in over the next few years, funded by New South Wales EPA as part of the Waste Less Recycle More initiative funded by the Waste Levy. The project, Recycled Organics Material, expanding the market for composts for improving soil health in the North Coast beef industry, has two main aims. Number one is a market-based analysis where we survey beef producers to understand their knowledge interest and willing to, willingness to use compost. The second aim is to apply compost at different rates so we can understand the effectiveness of, the, of compost on pasture and soils over time. The compost is made from recycled organic materials that come from green waste bins. This could be garden scraps, lawn clippings or even stuff from inside the kitchen that you throw out normally. There are four farms participating in our project and we are applying compost at different rates ranging from 0.9 tonnes per hectare to 5 tonnes per hectare, with rates of 1, 1.5 and 3 tonnes per hectare also being applied. Two of our sites are having fertiliser, single super applied, at 200 kilos per hectare and 300 kilos per hectare. This is to reflect standard industry practice. So what has the project achieved so far? 200 producers have participated in our initial survey. We collected our soil samples in 2019. In October 2020, the initial compost applications were undertaken and we've collected pasture samples for quality and quantity in October 2020 and in February 2021. This all forms part of our benchmark data for the project. As mentioned, we collected our baseline soils data in 2019. Here are the graphs for pH, cation exchange capacity and organic matter. You can see how they are variable across each of the sites and even across each of the plots. You can also see the average for the soil types and the averages for all the sites. We're really interested to see how this baseline data changes over time. We also collected soil biology data across all of our sites. Graph number one talks about the total number of microorganisms. Again, you can see the variability across the sites and that the total number of microorganisms is quite high. That's the red line compared to the guide, which is the yellow line. The second graph shows microbial diversity. You notice across our four sites it's low, that the, that's the red line, compared to the guide, which is the yellow line. Again, we're really interested to see how these parameters change over time following the application of our compost. I'd finally like to point out that compost application is a long game. You're not going to see instantaneous results as you would if you were applying fertilisers. But that's the interesting thing. We're really wanting to see over time the changes to our soils from applying composted materials. We're really excited to be involved in this project. We'd like to thank all of our participating producers and for more information contact local land services.